In today's video, I'm going to do a small airbrush pour with some of my leftover paints from my previous airbrush painting. And once it dries, I want to do a stencil design over it. And so I just want to test out and see how an airbrushed background would look. I've only done it once before and it turned out really nicely where I used a leaf stencil over an airbrushed background with some various shades of greens. So for this piece, my paints are thinned down with airbrush medium, which makes them nice and thin. I had pink mixed up but with my previous painting, but I'm not using that. I'm just sticking with white, blue, and purple for my background. I'm just starting out by putting a really thin base coat of my white down to help my blue and purple move better. And then I'll be using my airbrush, which I have set at 40 PSI. Um, that's a good pressure that works for me. It's not too strong and I have quite a bit of control over my paints. There's going to be a little bit of negative space in this, but for the most part, I want quite a bit of that blue and purple covering the background so that the stencil will really pop on top of it. Once I had my uh, base coat down and all of those colors down the way that I wanted them, um, I just let this piece dry overnight. And then I have a stencil that is a lion and it has some flowers on the side. And I thought with the gold paint um, and the stencil design on top of that background, it would look really, really great together. So I'm just going to do what I've done before, just tape down my stencil and then my gold is a really nice, thick, heavy body paint. And I'll just be using a small silicone spatula to put the paint over my stencil. I like to tape it down just to help it so that it doesn't move while I'm stenciling. Um, but you could just hold it down if you wanted to. Once I have it completely covered with the paint, I peel it off while it's still wet. I don't let the paint dry with the stencil on it. I don't know if trying to remove the stencil once the paint is dry would peel off that stencil design. And this one turned out really nicely. That stencil looks really great against the blue and the purple. But let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. I did have some suggestions in my last stenciled video. I did a stencil over a dipped painting and um, there were some good suggestions for some future stenciled pieces that I'm going to try out in the future. 
But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. I do put out three videos a week and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.